Okay, so here's a little Fun Physics Friday activity. We've got a device set up with four ramps, and each one of the ramps has a different profile to it. So the first ramp, number one, has a very quick parabolic drop and then levels out. The second one has a bit of an angular drop, medium steepness, and then levels out slightly at the bottom. Third one, almost level, then it goes into a bit of a steep linear drop. And the last one almost goes level, 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 then it has quite a steep drop off and then goes level at the end. So the idea with this one is, each one of these marbles is gonna be dropping the exact same vertical height and you can have a little discussion with your students as to which ball is gonna be going faster. Track one, two, three, or four. And what I like to do is actually have it set up so that the students can uh, compare two tracks at a time. Track one and two. As we can see, ball one reaches the bottom of the ramp before ball two. Track two and three. As we see, ball two reaches the bottom of the ramp before ball three. Track three, track four. As we can see, ball three reaches the bottom of the ramp before ball four. Tracks one to four simultaneous. Ball one reaches the bottom first, then ball two, then ball three, then ball four, which makes it look like ball one is the fastest and ball four is the slowest. But the discussion should then go to how is this possible when they are all dropping the same vertical distance, which means they should all have the same gravitation potential energy, which means they should all have the exact same speed when they reach the bottom of the ramp. So, something strange must be going on. So let's look at projectile motion using the uh, PHET website. So we've got a height of 10 meters. We're going to be launching a projectile absolutely horizontal. I click the fire button. We see where it lands. I can use their little targeting device to figure out the range. So apparently it's 25.7 meters, which is the distance from the edge of the barrel to where it lands. If I was to change the mass and make it larger and fire another projectile, you notice that it lands in exactly the same spot. I change the mass, launch, again, it's going to the exact same spot. The range of the ball doesn't have to do with the mass of the ball, it has to do with the initial velocity. So we have it set at 18 meters per second. If I make the speed smaller, we notice that it doesn't go as far. If we make the speed bigger, we notice that it definitely goes much further. So we're gonna carry this idea back to our ball uh, ramp issue because if you have a ball that's traveling slowly, it shouldn't go the same distance as a ball that's traveling more quickly. So now we're gonna let them go at the same time. And it would appear that ball one reached the bottom of the track much faster than ball two, three, or four, which makes it look like they're traveling at different speeds. But because the height drop is identical for all four, they should actually be approaching the same speed at the bottom of the ramp. If they are approaching the same speed at the bottom of the ramp, they should have the exact same range when they hit the floor. So let's check that out now. Difficult to see until we go to slow-mo. Pick a spot on the floor where the little shiny bit is and you'll notice all the balls land in that same area, which means they are all traveling at exactly the same speed when they hit the floor. So balls one, two, three, and four, even though they get to the bottom of the ramp at a different time, they all have the exact same speed or velocity, which is why they have the exact same range when they get to the bottom.